was. What have you seen from him, and how close is he to being where you want him to be this this ball camp? I think he's come in uh, very humble. Uh, he's worked hard. Uh, he's learning the playbook and getting acclimated. And um, I think he's done well so far. I think we got a, a long way to go as a group. But so far, I think he's he's worked hard and um, he's done some good things for us. We've heard a lot about we heard a lot about Amari Evans after spring ball at the beginning of fall camp. It seems like there's been less buzz there. Is he making the same progress that he was in the spring? Is he taking step back, or is he just in the mix now? No, I think all the guys are working. So I think it's just been you know um, a workmanlike approach by everybody. So I don't I don't really think there's anything to 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 worry about or say is this or that. I just think all the guys are really working hard. And I think it's, it's a good group of guys that's competing and working hard every day. Who's the guy that you maybe didn't have your radar, that you have on your radar when you took this job that today is really making it possible? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I kind of just took everybody as is, you know, and just let everybody show me who they were and their work ethic because, you know, we started in, in January and when I work out and things. So, um, I think guys just kind of presented themselves and over the test of time just prove whether they, they can be trusted and be consistent. I, I wouldn't say anybody in particular. I, I'd be making up something just to answer your question. So I, I wouldn't say anybody. I'm sorry. I know it's probably what no, 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 you're looking for. Coach, as of late, how have Caden Saunders and Liam Clifford been doing? Thank you. They've been doing well. Uh, they've been showing up to practice early, um, just working hard and getting better each day. I think they have good competition between them. They work well together. Um, and um, they set great examples in our room. So it's been fun to watch those two guys work. Looking at the uh, core right now, do you feel like there's any possibility of rotating starters throughout the season? That's a long season. And right now, we just focus on West Virginia. And so whatever that rotation requires to help us win, that's what we'll focus on. But the season is a long season. Right now, we're just focused on West Virginia. How far are you to having like a solidified top three or top six receivers? 7.30, September 2nd. <laughs> Is position I know, I know. no 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 you're all fine, you're all fine. <laughs> is position flexibility important for you specifically with the receivers? I think so. I think the more you can do, um, it helps out. You never want to get you know, for lack of a better term, stuck in one position and guys go down and we can't get to the personnel that we need within the game based upon guys only be able to play one spot. So guys have to be receivers, not necessarily just an X, H, or Z but just be receivers and be able to play all spots. So the more guys that can do that, it gives us more flexibility. And I think guys are, are starting to accept that and embrace that. And I think that's going to give us more flexibility moving down the road. Does that does that particularly help with Keandre to have him be a guy that can move inside? Of I think it helps with every guy in our room because you never know who you got to count on, especially the way this game is being played and injuries and you know things always happen. So the more guys you can have that know more positions, it just it gives you a better feeling on, on, on Saturday that you can put any guy in any position because he knows the whole foundation of the offense in all positions. So.